Picture yourself at a picnic with your closest friends. You are enjoying the day, the food, and the company. You brought sandwiches for the group. Your best friend is allergic to peanut butter, so instead of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, you brought her a cashew butter and jelly sandwich because you are very thoughtful. From the other end of the long picnic table, you see that she has picked up the wrong sandwich. You throw your hands out in front of you, palms facing her, shaking them back and forth frantically. You are trying to warn her, but she thinks you are waving hello, and she waves back. Luckily, she puts down the sandwich to do so, and she sees that your eyes are wide open in fright and your mouth is wearing a serious grimace. Waving hello and waving your hands frantically to stop your friend from a horrible allergic reaction are both examples of nonverbal communication. Nonverbal communication means the act of conveying information without the use of words. 55 to 93% of all communication is nonverbal. It occurs in many ways, including eye contact, facial expressions, gestures, and body language. Because nonverbal communication is such an important part of communication, being aware of it and using it effectively can really help you both express yourself and understand others. In other words, the better you understand nonverbal communication, the better you will understand and be understood. Think about what you've heard and consider how nonverbal communication affects those you serve. How can you be more aware of the impact of nonverbal communication?